Yo! The dashboard for the Bacurk Volvo. In the last one, we got the door cards in, the windows, the window frames. As I took stuff out to like mock fit, I'd forgot to put the bunk, the um, bed and these little things back in. So I've glued them in, but you haven't missed out on anything there because they literally just sit on and glue in place. So there's no loss there, but there's like a little drawer, door pocket thingy there, which has gone in and the bunk. But yeah, we did um, the door cards, the windows, the window frames, and I'd got these like pillows in. We're now on the dashboard. Now, as I said, we're doing the right hand drive dash. And if you look closely there, you can see there is quite a lot to it compared to your Tamiya model trucks where it is just like one complete unit. This is what I've always enjoyed about this build is the fact that you build it and not just put stuff together with nuts and screws. So I'll let you have a little look at the parts required to go on the dashboard. I have just started going round. I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up. But I'm um, just kind of highlighting and giving all the little buttons like a wash and stuff like that in black. Just so the buttons stand out a bit more. But once we've got the dashboard together, I will then possibly paint the individual buttons and stuff like that. Maybe do some aluminium knobs on there and whatnot. It should just break it up a little bit more from just all being grey. Like I say, I'll pick out the buttons and things like that. Already started giving it a wash. All I use is this pot from when I do my painting on my models. It was just filled with water and it's the pot that I wash the brushes out with. And it just gives a perfect wash. So you can save yourselves like a fiver there by doing that. So first things first. Coffee. That's the most important ingredient of model building. So the actual dash here. I mean, look, look at the details. So we're going to put those together. Make one complete dash. And then it all sits within the dash top. And then we have to build the steering column. Even the indicator stalks and stuff like that are all individual little bits that you have to stick on there. Um, then we add the steering wheel onto there. Attach the steering wheel to the actual dashboard. And hey presto, we have a dash. But yeah, looking closer. If you can. There's a lot of buttons and stuff on there that you can pick out and highlight. A lot of turny little knobs. Um, you've got like the vents in there and things. And more little buttons, little locker boxes and stuff. And on this one again, more little switches vents lots of little things just to highlight and pick out even on the steering wheel even the steering wheel isn't just you can see all the little switches and buttons on the side of the steering wheel there so again i'll go over and i'll give all these like a little wash over just to fill in the like the lines between just to give everything a bit more depth and then here we got like right, your indicator stalks and things like that a little tray to go on top of the dash so you can put your bits and bobs in sit your coffee on there and the screen well it's not the screen this is for like your speedo so we have the speedos there and you cut them out and we're going to stick those onto there or should i say according to the manual somewhere da -da 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 -da. here we go um it goes to the back of the screen so you get the light glass effect and then that just holds on with a bit of sticky tape probably because the glue might start to crumple it but it isn't actually paper it is on like a thin plasticky sheet now one thing I found a little bit disappointing was there is nothing on the decals for the like little sat nav screen there so maybe I could mask around that and paint it like a black and then just lacquer it and lacquer it and lacquer it to build it up to give like a gloss looking screen sort of thing or maybe able to get someone to print me something small enough to put in 
and then just find a small bit of clear plastic which I should have somewhere that I can cut out the same size to then fit into there to give the effect of a screen. So I'll get this glued together now and then we can look at it as a complete unit. So we shall get this glued together and you can kind of see the complexity of it. Really is amazing. And then next will be the seats which I shall also do in its own video. In that bag is I don't know how many parts, I just know there's a lot of parts in there and that's just to build two seats. Now you compare that to your Tamiya and you just get two molded seats done. Stick them in, job done. This is why I'm going to be incorporating more models within the channel rather than just the RC related stuff because like I said in the last one the modeling sides of it it gets you thinking it gets you pissed off at times it tests your patience things end up going through the window and it's a persistent thing to keep with so they really are I don't know a more interesting way of building stuff I have a couple of cars here which I'll be building up and there's days of thunder NASCAR down there and because I'm waiting on paint for the Kodak 4 NASCAR which I've built the chassis up which I showed you in the last one um, I will be putting a little video of that together for the channel but yeah I am going to be incorporating a lot more model building of other models so I've already cleaned up all the parts on these and I have test fit everything to make sure that everything is going to go in place as it should and places where I'm going to glue I've already like scored out just so we get a nice good contact so like this is going to just slot in there but obviously with some glue and then this one I can't remember whereabouts this one goes I think that sits on there like so And then that can sit over the top just to make sure we have that and then once that's in place kind of be right so you see where we're going with it so there's the dashboard now put together all set nicely you can kind of see the pre-shading that I've done I ain't the best with all that so I'll every day be improving on like little detailing skills and stuff I should really practice on some old stuff but I kind of like just tend to like to have a go really and just do it on what I'm working on that will glue on there in place and then it will come together like so so I've now got the dashboard built up pretty much should I say there's still the steering wheel and steering column to attach but I've got all the little indicator stalks on there and everything else like that all the little detaily bits um, got the three sections to the dash and the dash top put in We've got the clocks put in and I've also gone around, highlighted more and I've painted a lot of the buttons and stuff. Aluminium, aluminum, just so everything just pops a little more and stands out. Done all the little bits on the uh, vents, you know, to like open and close and stuff like that. So there's a lot more depth to this now and I don't know, I'm really suited with it so yeah we've got all the wash done right around the lines and everything else here and there um all the vents they've all been like washed and then bits picked out all the buttons done all these in like like i say aluminium and the knobs so everything just stands out a lot more than it did but yeah i'm quite happy with how this has turned out. I don't have the steadier stands like I used to as a kid. I'm still going to have to put some little screen or some over where the sat nav would be. Well, there we've got the clocks in there. So 
So we're going to get the uh, steering column attached. There is the steering wheel. And the indicators on there, they were fiddly. I'm not going to lie, they were quite fiddly to get attached. They kept like dropping off, but we're sitting there for a few minutes holding them in place and then they kind of locked in. And then I've just run some more glue behind just to make sure that they're not going nowhere. The airbag sign there, that was uh, <laughs> very fiddly to paint. But, and the little horn buttons. But no, I'm uh, really happy with this. Like I say, I've, I haven't done proper modelling for years since I was a little kid until I'd started building a couple of the NASCARs up over the last few weeks. Yeah, it's nice to be doing this again, most definitely. So I'll get this stuck on. So I've got the steering column in there now. We're just going to let that set and go off. And then we can get that popped into here. I do believe from looking at the manual that we're just going to have to glue maybe the end tabs. There's no signs for glue, but it looks like with the hole being there, that there was somewhere to screw this up at some point. Looking at that little tab there. But there is nothing here to show that it screws up. So just to make sure that it is actually fixed in place, I am going to run some glue around the bottom and like I say the tabs on the end then they can glue to these points here and here and by running a bit of glue underneath it should just bond itself onto there nicely just then it's not slipping out oh yeah I still need to uh, glue that onto there but I can always do that when it's in the truck super impressed so far so I've just glued up these little tabs and the bottom of the dash let's just see how we get on now I don't even know if the floor touches the bottom of the dash but there's some glue on there anyway well, there it is so far in there it's looking good um if you're wondering why that looks a glue mess that's because i've popped this mat out i i was originally going to go with like a purple theme within the cab but now i'm not so what i'm going to do i've took this out for now and i'm going to get some gray embossing powder or some flock i'm just going to strip this off and then i'm going to flock it to make it like proper carpet so I've noticed in the real Volvo interiors they are like a carpet mat. I would have done the floor mats but once you've got the seats in you ain't really going to see those. So I'll leave those but I will do that piece. But yeah, it, it's looking pretty impressive. The buttons aren't standing out at the moment. Which I have actually done in a silver colour, as you'd seen. Well, yeah, when you look through the windows, it, it does look much better. Very nicely detailed. Little magazine there in the door card. Couple of magazines again for the dash. And a nudie magazine for the bunk. And a newspaper in there. And I'll have to have a speak with my good friend Raymond over at Leyland when I'm next there. And we can get some more accessories to go inside like some packets of crisps and some snacks and pop and stuff like that. And just bring it a bit more to life. I am genuinely impressed with this so far. So the next phase which will be the next video because I don't want to overwhelm the videos with too much or they might start dragging out but we are on to the seats 
like I say, a couple of other little jobs like turning that into carpet and adding some interior bits. But yeah, that is that so far. Coming on nicely. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe, comment, all the usuals. And I shall catch you guys in the next one. Ciao for now, guys. Yeah, impressive. Like it. Like it, like.